Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on enlargement with a positive scale factor. Remember in mathematics there are four transformations and a transformation is a process which can change the position and or size of a shape. We have four transformations. We have rotation, enlargement, remember not to be fooled by the word large, it can sometimes make the shape smaller. We also have reflection and we have translation. In today's lesson, we'll be focusing on enlargement with a positive scale factor. So let's look at some key words, starting with enlargement. Well, enlarging a shape changes its size. To enlarge a shape, a center of enlargement is required. When a shape is enlarged from a center of enlargement, the distances from the center to each point are multiplied by the scale factor. Now there's a lot of key words here, so let's focus on the scale factor. Well, a scale factor is the ratio of sizes of two similar figures. The scale factor is the number we multiply by to make an object larger or to make an object smaller. Now let's have a look at the center of enlargement. Well, the position of an enlarged shape is described by the center of enlargement. So let's have a look at what I mean. Well, here I'm going to enlarge by a scale factor of 2, but for each case I'm going to change the center of enlargement indicated by the x. You can see here I've ended up with my final enlargement being in this position. However, for a different center of enlargement, I've ended up with the same size shape but in a different position. So the center of enlargement is really important. So we've gone through two key words scale factor and center of enlargement, these are two key things that we need to reference when answering a transformation question involving enlargement. So let's have a look at a past exam question. Here the question shows us a grid and wants us to draw an enlargement of the shaded shape with a scale factor of 3. Given we know the scale factor is the number we multiply all lengths by to make the object larger or smaller, and we're not given a center of enlargement, this question is really easy. All we need to do is look at each length and multiply by 3. So let's have a look at our base length. You can see we have a length of 3 squares. So therefore, we can draw our base length anywhere on our grid to be 9 squares. 3 multiplied by 3 gives us our 9. Next, you can see we have a vertical height of 1 square. So therefore, we have a vertical height of 3 squares. Here you can see we have a vertical height of 2 squares. So this means multiplying by 3, we have a vertical height of 6 squares. Looking at this diagonal, you can see we've gone diagonally across 2 squares. So multiplying by a scale factor of 3 means we go diagonally across 6 squares. Finally, we can simply connect our shape and we've drawn our enlarged shape by a scale factor of 3. Now let's have a look at a different question giving us a center of enlargement. Here we have a grid and we're asked to enlarge the shape with a scale factor of 3 and we're given a center A. Now remember, a scale factor multiplies all the distances or lengths by the scale factor. So let's look at each vertex from our center of enlargement. Starting here. Well, to get to this vertex, you can see we've gone 2 to the right and 1 up. So therefore, if we have a scale factor of 3, we simply multiply these lengths by 3 to give us our new vertex. Multiplying by 3, we now have 6 to the right and 3 up. Now we have our new vertex, we repeat like we've done before. Well, we have a base of 1, 2, 3 squares, so multiplying by 3, we'll have a base of 9 squares. We have a vertical height of 2 squares, so multiplying by 3, we have a vertical height of 6 squares. You can see we have our enlarged shape, but I'm also going to check another way by looking at our vertices. Looking at this vertex, you can see from the center of enlargement, we went 5 to the right and 1 up. So, multiplying by a scale factor of 3, 
This means to get to our new vertex, we now have 15 to the right and 3 up, which confirms my vertex which I placed before. Let's check with our last vertex. Well, from the center enlargement, I went 2 to the right and 3 up. So, multiplying by a scale factor of 3, this means I have 6 to the right and 9 up. You can see I've confirmed all my vertices and I'm completing my diagram. The great thing about enlargement is how we can use ray lines to check. A ray line basically connects our corresponding vertices and it will always go through the center of enlargement. So, I'm connecting this vertex with its corresponding vertex and it shows it goes through my center of enlargement. The same here, I'm going to connect this vertex with my corresponding vertex and it's gone through my center of enlargement. Lastly, just for luck, let's connect our last vertices and you can see all of them meet at the center of enlargement. This is also a good check. Now moving on to another question, here the question wants us to enlarge shape A by a scale factor of one third, and we're giving the center of enlargement to be 0, 1. See if you can give it a go and press pause if you need. Using the same method as before, let's look at one vertex at a time, starting here. Well, from our center of enlargement, you can see I've gone three to the right and three up to get to this vertex. So, if my scale factor is one third, I simply multiply three to the right and three up by one third. This gives us one to the right and one up. So this is my new vertex. From here, I can simply draw my shape. Well, originally I went one, two, three, four, five, six vertically up. Because my scale factor is a third, that means my new vertical height would be two. Now, going across, you can see I've gone one, two, three to the right. Given my scale factor is one third, that means I go one to the right. Then you can see this side of our shape, we went three down. Multiplying by one third, it simply means I go one square down. You can see our enlarged or smaller shape outlined here, but I'm just going to check with our vertices. Just choosing this vertex here, you can see I went three to the right and nine up from my center of enlargement. So, multiplying by one third, I'm now going to go one to the right and three up. This confirms the vertex that I've already placed. You can continue doing the same method with the other vertices, but it's quite clear we now have our enlarged shape by a scale factor of a third. Now I'm going to check with our ray lines. Just like before, let's connect our corresponding vertices, and they will always meet at that center of enlargement. I'm not going to do them all, but you can see they all confirm the center of enlargement is at zero, 1. Now let's have a look at another question. Here the question wants us to enlarge triangle A by a scale factor of 2.5 with a center of naught 1. See if you can give it a go and press pause if you need. You might notice that the scale is slightly different from the other questions. Don't worry, the method is still the same. We're just going to count the squares and multiply by our scale factor. So from this vertex, you can see we've gone two squares to the right from my center enlargement. So multiplying two by our scale factor of 2.5 means my new vertex will be five squares to the right from my center of enlargement. From here, I now have my new vertex. Now the height from the original vertex is four squares. So multiplying four by 2.5 means my new height must be 10 squares, placing my new vertex here. Then you might notice this length of our triangle was two squares across. This means the new length 
would be 2 multiplied by my 2.5, which means I'll be 5 squares across. You can now see my large shape. But just like before, I'm going to check by looking at another vertex. Looking at this vertex, we've gone 2 to the right and 4 up from my center of enlargement. So, just like before, we're going to multiply by my scale factor of 2.5, verifying my new vertex will be 5 to the right and 10 up, which confirms the vertex I placed before. So it's clear that my enlarged shape is correct. Just like before, let's connect our ray lines to the corresponding vertices. This will confirm my enlargement is correct because the ray lines meet at the center of enlargement of 0, 1. Now let's have a look at a describing question. Here the question wants us to describe fully the single transformation that maps shape P onto shape Q. See if you can give it a go and press pause if you need. The question wants us to describe fully the single transformation, so therefore we know it's one of these transformations. It's clear that it's enlargement, so we need to state two things. We need to state the scale factor and the center of enlargement. So let's start with the scale factor. Well, to work out the scale factor, remember it's a ratio of sizes of two similar figures. So let's calculate the ratio. The scale factor is easily calculated by looking at the image length and dividing it by the corresponding object length. So, let's have a look at its base lengths. Looking at shape Q, which is the image, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 squares. Then, looking at the original object, you can see a base length of 3 squares. So, therefore, the image length divided by my object length 9 divided by 3 to give me a final scale factor of 3. Now we know our scale factor, let's identify our center of enlargement. Just like before, let's draw our ray lines, because we know our ray lines will always identify where our scale factor is. So, we now know it's enlargement by a scale factor of 3 with a center of 0, 0. Now let's have a look at our last question. This question wants us to describe fully the single transformation that maps shape A onto shape B. See if you can give it a go and press pause if you need. From the question we need to state our single transformation and you could see it must be enlargement. Because we know it's enlargement, we must state these two key pieces of information. So, let's start with the scale factor. Well, to work out the scale factor, we know it's the image length divided by the corresponding object length. So looking at shape B, which is our image, you can see we have a base length of 2. Now looking at our base length of shape A, which is our object, you can see we have a base length of 4. So therefore, our scale factor is 2 divided by 4, so my scale factor is 1 half. Now we know the scale factor, let's work out the center of enlargement. Well, using our knowledge on ray lines, let's connect those corresponding vertices. You can see they meet at the coordinate 6 minus 5. So therefore, the answer is enlargement by a scale factor of a half with the center of enlargement of 6 minus 5. So, in summary, we've looked at enlarging a shape given a scale factor and a center of enlargement, as well as describing a shape, identifying the scale factor and center of enlargement. In both cases, we've also used ray lines. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below and subscribe to this channel, so you'll be the first to know when we release our next videos.